coach open up with some comments, and then we'll go to the players for questions. I mean, what an atmosphere. It was an unbelievable atmosphere for uh, two really good teams going at it. But, you know, they did a better job of making pitches when they needed it, um, extending at bats, and a um, really good job defensively. So they made more plays than us, and they deserved to win. More questions for the players? We're just shouting them out over What's kind of the attitude going into a must-win game tomorrow? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a must-win. Um, you just got to, you know, play your game. You can't make it bigger than what it is. Um, you got to take it like it's just another game. Um, just slow it down and do your thing. Murphy, I saw you embracing the right field heckler zone. What was it like out there? Oh, they're fun. They're a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, they'll, they'll say some stuff, but it's all it's all good fun. It's a great atmosphere, like Coach said. Um, they bring the energy here, which is which is great. Um, it's fun to see. While the game was close, did you feel that you know, some of those double plays and just how much of those missed opportunities kind of hurt this team? Yeah, I mean the double plays always hurt, um, obviously, but. Um, they're going to happen in the games. You know, this the the field plays faster, so it's not the worst thing to get on the ground. Just we hit it right at some guys, um, but uh, hopefully they'll find some holes soon. Murph, can you kind of walk through your catch at the end of the fifth, going over the, the wall into the bullpen, and did you feel like that gave you guys a shot going into the sixth of how you responded with when you had to go back to back? Yeah, I, I mean, right off the bat, I knew it was going to be close. I thought. Um, it was, it was either going to be foul or, or just fair. Um, so obviously it's playoffs. You're gonna, you got to leave it on the line, um, leave your body on the line. Um, but, yeah, I think it, it gave us an energy boost. Um, and then we got a couple big hits after that. Um, uh, but, they, but they scored more runs. <laughs> How much did their five spot in the bottom of eight kind of change the complexion of the game? Because you guys seem to have momentum, and then that, that home run kind of seemed to change things where it would bounce over the wall. Yeah, I mean, especially when you're in an atmosphere like this, momentums um, can can shift very quickly, um, which they were able to do. Um, the crowd gets into it, um, but yeah, it, it's it's tough to come back from that much. But um, we're a team that can score a lot of runs at any time, so we just stick with our with our uh, bats and keep going. Any more questions? All right, you could go. Thank you. <coughs> Questions for Coach Pierce? Pete, Pete obviously struggling um, today. What would you attribute his day to? Well, I mean, he just didn't have his command that he normally has. So he wouldn't hit with the slider. Uh, just probably one of the worst starts he's had. Um, and so, you know, it's just what it is. Uh, I know he's ready to pitch. They did a nice job of laying off some borderline pitches and fighting with two strikes. So, you know, uh, credit their hitters. Uh, just not not Pete's day today. Is that it? Any more questions? What did you think of the missed opportunities and just not being able to get those clutch hits in the fifth and sixth? Yeah, I mean, the, the ball that Dougie hit in the eighth, I thought Merrick Karowitz made a hell of a play. Uh, and he was in too because of the bunt, the threat of the bunt, and time to dive. Um, they just did a good job of making plays throughout the course of the game and, and putting the ball in play when they needed to. Um, but when you, you give up a five spot in the eighth after you know an eight-seven game, and uh, you know you just can't keep it close, give your team a chance in the ninth. You know that's, that's kind of the story of the game for me. David, did you get a chance to talk to? Not yet, no. It looked like from uh, from our angle, it looked like they had a little miscommunication, but then when Doug went to catch it, it, it looked like it, he just pole vaulted it over the wall. It was like Conseco except his glove, not his head. That's what it looked like, yeah. It's the plan to still with this tomorrow. Yeah, Gordon will go tomorrow. Good? Any more questions? All right, All right thank you. Thank you.